going, Ivan? I still haven't found her. Is she gonna be okay? Give it up. Gwenaifen was probably eaten by the Heliobi already. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwenaifen, that means I'm in even more danger. Why don't you take a guess? <gasps> you can find the way out, right? Please take me with you. Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap. Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye. But you did. And can you swear that you don't want to leave her behind? Not even a little. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? one around here who gets to tell this kid off. Me and those other judges. Got that? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I smell something familiar. Cirrus, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. Just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail! Laugh while you can, coward. I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body. <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you. You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried! You can't eat her, let alone escape from her! <laughs> Mr. Tail! You're pathetic! Darn it! Uh, think of something, you wimp! Oh, Miss Trailblazer! Take this talisman and stick it to your body! It'll temporarily suppress the Helibus's influence. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, girl! Say something nice to Huahua. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. Someone as nice 
as you wouldn't say such mean things. Only a possession would make you act like that. Still, what the Heliobus said was true. I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job, the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I, I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been so useless. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the General of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff, an evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the Law Fu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the General. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the Creation Furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escape to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then, Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah, I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered! 
suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then. <laughs> Hilarious! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down, just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions, there's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies, so we can eat, kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? Don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors.
The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. See a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound. Whoa, whoa, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madame Shreddy? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwynifen. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Ah, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui! What? The real Madame Shui? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Huohua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. But what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Fair Hua Hua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shui behind the mirror! again! What a surprise! Look around us, Mr. Tail! I think we're at the edge of the illusion! Maybe these are the only mirrors left? Come here, Hoopa. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. 
first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Xue Yi. Right? Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake! Her tail will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud. I'll deal with you once I get out. So we're gonna... But... Mm, this isn't the right place. We picked the wrong bronze mirror. Significant demon. I can't wait to devour him myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide. She will be expelled after tonight's all. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! So we're gonna. to ask you some questions about myself first. Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away! So, we're gonna... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. The Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. A tail? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? <laughs> what are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Uh, I think there's a mirror on that floating island, but it's a bit far away. Which 
I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Hua Hua. This should be the last mirror. Uh, I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <sighs> Let's go! This is the right mirror! You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrey, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. I know you're trying to comfort me, but that sounded a little weird. You need to start filtering out the stuff you don't want to hear. That's what I do. The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. The monster. Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like friends. Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food. <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion, over there. Let's go. 